Hello everyone and welcome to 20 facts about the Great Dane. Number 20. They were bred to be work dogs. Great Danes were initially bred to hunt big game and protect their owner's property. This is why the breeders placed such a high value on size. Although they are now widely used as amiable companion animals, their initial responsibilities were to work for their owners in order to pay their keep. Their owners were not looking for a pet that would lie around the house and look pretty in the early years after the breed was developed. They required a dog that could help put food on the table and defend owners against thieves who might try to steal from them. The natural hunting and guarding instincts of modern Great Danes still serve them well in alerting their owners to intruders at their doors. Great Danes aren't known for for being particularly aggressive, unlike their ancestors, although they do bark and cause a fuss. They behave much more serenely, and some even appear docile. They are no longer the aggressive guard dogs and hunters they once were. Expect to be alerted but don't rely on much more than this because despite their size possibly acting as a strong deterrent to would-be thieves, they aren't really that interested in attacking intruders. Number 19. They're known for their height, but are not the tallest breed. Compared to most other dog breeds, Great Danes are tall dogs that can grow to astounding heights. These dogs can reach heights of well over 7 feet when they are standing on their hind legs. It's difficult to believe that there are canine breeds that are taller than average. Most Great Danes dwarf their owners when they try to stand up and give them a hug. However, there is a breed that can reach even greater heights. The only breed taller than Great Danes is the Irish Wolfhound. As one of the dog breeds that was crossed in the development of the Great Dane, Irish Wolfhound genetics are present in them. Number 18. They prefer to be lap dogs. Given their size, it might sound absurd, but Great Danes are huge fans of cuddling and would adore nothing more than to be a lap dog. Even though they aren't even that small as puppies, it's still easy to let them sit on your lap for some enjoyable cuddling because they are so adorable and cute. It doesn't take long for the dog to outgrow you and become too big to fit in your favorite chair as they start to gain size and weight, and this happens rather quickly. When this happens, having a full-sized couch for cuddle time is preferable to simply giving in and getting on the floor with your large dog. If you're not physically capable of doing this, you should probably think about teaching your great day from a young age to stay off the furniture in your house. Instead of letting them get used to it and then depriving them of the pleasure, it is preferable to do this when they are young. Number 17. They make amazing family dogs. The gentleness and composure of Great Danes are admired. Yes, these dogs can be playful, but for the most part, they have a calm, amiable, and even temperament. They have a solid track record of dependability and loyalty. They're easy to train and are usually great with kids. However, it is advised that you always keep an eye on the kids when they are around. Even if the kids are big, it's simple for them to unintentionally knock them down due to their enormous size. They might unintentionally flatten out an adult when playing. This is one of the reasons it's crucial to start a Great Dane's training and socialization when he is still a small puppy. These good-natured pooches wouldn't intend intentionally hurt you, but they don't realize that they're too big to wrestle. It's crucial to instill in them the habit of not jumping on people at a young age. Number 16. They will eventually break your heart. Lovers of Great Danes are aware of the benefits of bringing these loving dogs into their homes. The biggest downside to the pet parent is that they are known for having a short lifespan. Due to their enormous size, their bodies typically only last 7.5 to 10 years at most before breaking down. This allows you to bond deeply with your pet before having to say goodbye much too soon. Some Great Dane enthusiasts who are painfully aware of this fact decide to comfort themselves when the inevitable occurs by by raising a litter of puppies to carry on the line of their cherished pet. The majority of dog owners concur that in the long run, it's worth the sadness to experience the unconditional love that these dogs are capable of exhibiting. This is just one of the sad facts associated with owning larger dogs. Perhaps a Great Dane wouldn't be the best choice for you if this is something you wouldn't be able to handle. Number 15. Great Danes don't come from Denmark. Many people assume that Great Danes must be of Danish ancestry because of their name. They originated in Germany, where the breed was created. The origins of the names given to these non-Danish dogs have long been a mystery. It could have originated from the French name Grand Denois, which translates to Big Danish, as one theory. The American Kennel Club has been sticking to this version of events. Those of us who have trouble comprehending the idea will always be curious. One thing is certain, they are unquestionably a great breed. Number 14. 
Great Danes are popular cartoon characters. Several popular cartoon dogs are Great Danes. The enormously large sidekick of Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, is a Great Dane. The fact that these dogs enjoy being lap dogs is undoubtedly reinforced by him. Just keep an eye on him to see how frequently he experiences a startle before finding solace in Shaggy's arms. Being a Great Dane, Marmaduke accurately demonstrates the breed's high level of intelligence. Let's not forget Astro, the family dog of the Jetsons. Many people don't give it much thought, but some of our favorite animated series included a Great Dane as one of the main characters. Your Great Dane might even turn out to be entertaining, like Scooby-Doo and Astro. Even these large dogs enjoy performing occasionally for their family members. Number 13. The tallest dog in history was a Great Dane. Despite the fact that Irish wolfhounds typically grow to be taller, the Great Dane holds the world record for height. Zeus was 44 inches tall when he was standing upright on all four feet. He was 7 feet and 4 inches tall when he was standing on his hind legs. Zeus entered the Guinness World Records book with ease, but he sadly only lives to the ripe old age of 5. He showed signs of aging before passing away, and his enormous size is thought to have contributed to his body aging so quickly. Number 12. Great Danes are graceful animals. Although their size makes it seem unlikely, Great Danes are among the most graceful canines. They project an air of confidence and regal posture due to their strong profiles and square-shaped heads. When fully grown, their limbs are in proportion to their smooth bodies, which enables them to move with an elegant gait that is similar to art in motion. The Great Dane is regarded as one of the most elegant and beautiful dogs in the world by many notable individuals throughout recent history. Number 11. They are sprawlers. For your Great Dane, you better have plenty of legroom. When playing or unwinding, they enjoy sprawling out. You only have to look at their enormously long legs and paws to fully comprehend their need for expansive space. Even their enormous, square-shaped heads are thrown around a lot. They do enjoy switching between being active and being lazy. In either case, they require a large living space. When not lounging in the living room, they do need to exercise every day. Great Danes shouldn't be raised in apartments or tiny homes because they won't have enough space to get the necessary exercise. If there is enough room for them to spread out at will, a bigger apartment might work out okay. Number 10. Great Danes need regular medical checkups. It's crucial to make sure that your Great Dane attends all of the scheduled veterinarian appointments. Calling his doctor is especially important if he exhibits signs of digestive problems, in addition to making sure he has received all of his vaccinations and has been dewormed. Bloat is a potentially fatal stomach condition that is extremely common in Great Danes. According to the chief vet on Animal Planet, it is the main cause of death for Great Danes. Additionally, they age much more quickly than other dog breeds do. A five-year-old dog that behaves like an old dog may be yours. Great Danes may require a special nutritional diet as they get older due to this propensity. Other potential problems include arthritis and painful joints. At the first indication of any discomfort or health issues, consult your veterinarian in order to keep your Great Dane as healthy as possible. Number 9. Great Danes rank high in popularity. Although this breed may seem like big brutes, they are actually very well liked all over the world. They rank as the 15th most popular dog breed globally, per the American Kennel Club. This is a fairly high ranking among the many breeds listed on the register, which number in the hundreds. Those who are familiar with Great Danes are aware of their many positive traits and how wonderful family pets and companion dogs they make. They are very simple to train because of their high intelligence. They don't put as much effort into pleasing others as a Labrador Retriever does, but they still enjoy your happiness. A well-trained Great Dane will follow your commands with obedience. They don't bark frequently, but they will let you know if something is wrong. This is another benefit because they enjoy lounging around and keeping to themselves. Great Danes are renowned for their loyalty, dependability, and trustworthiness. It is understandable why they are a well-liked breed of dog because they have so many wonderful qualities. Number 8. Great Danes are very adaptable pets. A Great Dane can adapt to almost any type of living environment, whether you live in the city or the country. A Great Dane will have everything he needs to thrive in his environment as long as he has good nutrition, regular checkups with the doctor, room to exercise, and lots of love from his family. Larger apartments are fine, even though it's true that a small living space might not give him or you enough space. Great Danes are good pets for people who have close neighbors because they don't often bark. 
When they are properly socialized and trained, Great Danes truly are the gentlemen of the canine world. Number 7. They weren't always called Great Danes. In the 19th century, German immigrants brought the first dogs of this breed to America. The German boarhound breed was appropriately named since it was in Germany where they were first developed for boar hunting. German Mastiff was an early attempt by some breeders in Germany to rename the breed from boarhound, but the name failed to catch on. It's still a mystery how Great Danes got their name. English Talk and English Dock were two other names that were tried and failed. The majority of us prefer the sound of Great Dane because it is easier to say than the other names. Number 6. It took three breeds to develop the Great Dane. The Great Dane is not a breed that naturally evolved. To create the breed, man employed specific breeding techniques. They are a hybrid of three different breeds of dogs. The Great Dane's height is a result of Irish wolfhounds, their speed was improved by greyhounds, and their muscle mass was increased by mastiff genes. This magnificent breed was developed using a combination of these three elements. In the year 1887, the American Kennel Club officially recognized Great Danes as a dog breed. They have nine colors and three different sets of markings that have been approved by the organization. Number 5. Great Danes are iconic dogs. Great Danes have received praise and admiration from a number of historically significant figures ever since they were accepted as a distinct dog breed. You can find a picture of William Penn and his cherished Great Dane in the governor's office in Pennsylvania. He was the state of Pennsylvania's founder. In fact, the Great Dane was designated as Pennsylvania's official state dog in 1967. Penn openly extolled the qualities of this dog that had drawn him to the category. He emphasized how magnificent they are in terms of their size, power, intelligence, beauty, stability, reliability, bravery, tolerance, and faithfulness. It appears that Mr. Penn was adamant that Great Danes were the world's top dogs. Maybe he was correct. It's also important to note that in 1876, Germany adopted the Great Dane as its mascot. It appears that Great Danes are highly regarded as honorable and deserving creatures all over the world. Number 4. Similar breeds existed in antiquity. There is evidence to suggest that ancient dog breeds existed that are strikingly similar to the current breed, even though the Great Dane was not developed and recognized as a distinct breed until the 1800s. Ancient drawings that remarkably resemble modern Great Danes have been found on Egyptian monuments. These structures were built around 3000 BC. Ancient texts from another region of the world also mention dogs that resembled the Great Dane breed. These were recorded in Chinese literature from 1121 BC. There are two more Egyptian pieces that resemble the breed and date to between 3500 and 1500 BC. Is it possible that dog breeding was being experimented with by ancient peoples thousands of years ago? It's kind of fascinating to imagine what these extinct dog breeds might have looked like in their original forms. Number 3. You don't really own Great Danes, they own you. We like to believe that we are in charge as pet owners, but that isn't always the case. Sure, your Great Dane might have received excellent training and be very obedient. You don't necessarily get your way because of this. Great Danes develop a similar level of love for their owners as you do for them. Additionally, they are skilled at manipulating you to suit their own purposes. Although they are not particularly cunning dogs, it is difficult to deny them access to simple pleasures due to their warmth and kindness. They show you nothing but devoted service and considerate love. It can be difficult to explain to your Great Dane that he cannot not sleep on your bed, couch, or chair. Who is actually owned by whom in this situation? Number 2. Their looks can be deceiving. A Great Dane's enormous size may scare off people who have never met one or who know very little about them. People frequently think of them as vicious dogs that should be feared and avoided. Despite their enormous size, Great Danes are calm, and the majority of them have a kind and gentle nature. They may appear cruel, but they aren't. However, in general, they're real sweethearts who prefer chilling over making a scene. We'll admit that every now and then, you'll find a particular dog in this breed that might be mean or disagreeable, but in general, they're really sweethearts who tend to mind their own business. Number 1. 
you'll never forget the friendship you formed. Owners of Great Danes must all concur on one thing, their dogs are adopted into the family. A Great Dane's love for his human family serves as the foundation for creating special memories that will endure long after he has left this world. One of the biggest drawbacks of ownership may be the breed's short lifespan, but the unique relationships and love you share with him will make the pain of losing him, just to have had him in your life, worth it. You will learn to rely on his company because Great Danes are devoted, loyal, and trustworthy. You'll miss him and think about him when he isn't there. People can only feel this way about a very special pet. Great Danes are genuinely unique animals. That's all 20 facts about the Great Dane. Make sure to check the description below for more information about my new merchandise shop. See you next time.